Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel, Fun with Physics. In today's lesson, we are going to consider power. For us to understand power fully, we need to know what energy is. Energy is simply the ability to do work. We have different forms of energy or different types of energy. We have thermal energy, we have radiant energy, we have light energy, chemical energy, nuclear energy, electrical energy, gravitational energy, mechanical energy, and so on. All of this form of energy uses joule as the unit. Now what then is power? Power is the rate at which energy is being transferred by an object. Some items transfer energy very fast, why some very slow. For instance, if you look at the picture here, we have a lighthouse and we have a torchlight. The light bulb in a lighthouse transfers as much as 24,000 joules of energy into light and heat every minute. Okay, why this bulb transfers just 120 joules of energy into light and heat every minute? Okay, so the lighthouse, lighthouse lamp has more power since it transfers more energy for the same time, the same time, compared to this. Is that clear? Now how then do we calculate power? Now we can calculate power using the equation displayed here. Power, energy transferred or transformed over the time it takes. Now we can calculate power of the lighthouse lamp and the torch in the above, what we did earlier, here. and compare which one is more powerful than the other, okay? Now recall that power is energy transferred over time. For the light house lamp, it transfers much as 24,000 joules of energy in one minute. So for us to get power in watts, we need to convert the time to seconds, one minute to seconds, which is this, okay? And that gives us 400 watts. Now, similarly, for the torch, it transferred 120 joule of energy to light and heat, divided by the time taken for it to transfer, and then we have 20 watts of power, okay? So when we divide 400 watts uh, by 20 watts, we'll realize that the lighthouse lamp uh, is 20 times more powerful than the torchlight lamp. Now, it's worth noting that power is measured in watts or kilowatts, depending on what you want, the one you want to use. But also know that one kilowatt is the same thing as 1000 watts. Now, comparing the light bulbs, we use different light, different types of light bulbs in our house and each of these bulb consumes certain amount of energy, right? That means it has certain amount of power. Now starting with this, the incandescent filament light bulb, this one here, it has uh, some thin wires that join one end of this point to the other end here. Now, you can get light here when the filament, this thing here, is being heated until it glues. Okay, once it glues, it gives you light. But then most of the light produced here, most of the energy here produces not just light, but heat as well. Now for the compact fluorescent lamp, the CFL, which is this, it contains a mixture of gases here, argon and mercury, that produces invisible UV light, ultraviolet light, when the gases are excited by electricity, okay? Causing it to glue. Now for the LED or light emitting diode, it contains electron 
They recombine with electron holes, releasing energy in form of photon that illuminates the, the bulb itself. Okay? Now, we need to know that the average lifespan of the LED is uh, roughly 25,000 hours. Why for the CFL, it's 8,000 hours. And then for the incandescent, it's just 1,200 hours. So the lifespan of the LED is much more than the rest. The LED doesn't use mercury, but the CFL uses mercury, of course, and argon, combination of mercury and argon, while the incandescent doesn't use mercury or any other gas. Now, the power um, of the LED is 6 to 8 watts. Why that of CFL is 13 to 15 watts, and for the incandescent is 60 watts. Now, LED uses 84% less energy compared to the incandescent. Okay, that is it's more efficient than the incandescent, and even the CFL, the compact fluorescent light bulb. This the, for the compact fluorescent light, it uses 75% less energy compared to the incandescent. So it's quite efficient compared to the incandescent. Okay? But for the incandescent, 90% of the energy is lost as heat. So it uses only 10% of energy to light up, to, put, to give you light in your home, various houses, or various homes. Now, comparing light bulbs. The different light bulbs can be designed. Different light bulb can be designed to produce different intensity or brightness of light. The table shows the different intensity of light produced by these bulbs using different uh, power. Okay, for a resistance for 500, 450 lumen. Intensity is measured in lumen, okay? For 450 lumen, an incandescent light bulb will use up to 40 watts power to give out this amount of brightness, 450, okay? Why the CFL will use just 10 watts power to give out the same light, the same amount of light intensity, okay? But LED uses 7.5 watts to give out the same intensity of light. Now for 2,800 lumens, the incandescent bulb will use 150 watts power to give out the same intensity, this intensity 2800. Why the CFL will use just 45 watts power to produce the same light? And then the LED uses just 26 watts for the same light. Notice the power of each type of bulb that produces the light intensity. Okay, notice the pattern, right? So with the intensity. Here we're using more power than the rest, okay? For the incandescent, more power is consumed or used to produce the same amount of brightness than the rest of the lamps. Which of these bulbs will you prefer to use at home? And why do you prefer to use uh, the bulb that you choose over others? Uses of LED. Now, we've known that LED converts more electrical energy to light energy than heat energy compared to other types of bulbs which converts more electrical to heat than light, especially when you talk about the incandescent. It is more efficient lamp, that is for the LED. However, it has its own problem. 
one of the disadvantages that it is uh, it, it is expensive and over time it may tend to have this color shift instead of white light you may see something like a blue light or something like that or a different light a different colored light that's a problem now if it's efficient because the amount of the useful light energy that is converted is more than the wasted heat energy that is produced okay compared to the incandescent light bulb or even the CFA okay so it's the most efficient bulb you can think of now application and uses include in TV backlighting in smartphone backlighting in LED displays in automotive lighting if you want in areas where you need to dim and brighten the light occasionally and in cancer treatment okay high intensity light is sometimes used by doctors to treat cancer now energy and money now the choice of your bulb at home could save money to you or could make you spend more okay so that's why it's important to make the right choice of bulb to use at home so that you can save enough money for other purposes okay when people pay for their electric bill they are actually paying for the energy consumed in a given time okay by different appliances in their homes and not for the current flowing through them okay remember that power is the energy transferred in a given time right that means energy can be power times time when you make this energy transfer the subject of this formula now energy will be equal to power times time now in the household billing energy consumed is usually billed not in words seconds but in kilowatts hour okay that means the power will be converted to kilowatts and the time will be measured in hour rather than seconds okay that means energy consumed at any given time in the household is power in kilowatts or you have here times the time in hour okay and then if you want to calculate the electricity bill all you need to do is to get the energy consumed whatever the energy consumed is times it by the cost okay and the cost is usually the amount billed for one kilowatt hour all right now let's look at some examples here that will help us understand this better miss adam has five led bulbs in his home each consumes 10 watts of power in 24 hours how much b will adam pay for the consumption of electricity in this time the cost of one kilowatts energy is 12 rupees now first we need to get the power how much power is used by five led bulbs so five times ten which is fifty next we convert it to kilowatts remember that the energy for the household is usually built in kilowatts hour okay so this the power now is in kilowatts the time it's already in, in hours so we don't need to convert so that means energy consumed by the five LED bulbs is power in kilowatts times time, which is 0 0.05 times 24, and that gives us 1.2 kilowatts hour of energy consumed. All right, then we can get the electricity bill or the cost of electricity bill by multiplying this result here by the amount for one kilowatts hour, which is 12 rupees. So 1.2 times 12, that gives us 14.4 rupees. Now we have here another question. This is just an extract of the amount of light intensity produced by using incandescent lamp, CFL, and LED. 
okay so here for this intensity 800 lumen for the, the incandescent light lamp uses up to 60 watts power why the CFL uses 15 watts power and then the LED use just 10 watts power all to produce this amount of brightness or, or intensity okay so we are expected here to find the energy consumed by one the LED to the incandescent lamp in 10 hours and then how much will be saved in using the LED instead of the incandescent lamp for 10 hours if the electricity company charges 10 naira per kilowatts hour okay so the first thing we need to do is to solve this one to find out the amount of energy consumed by this LED okay so energy remember it's power in kilowatts times time in hour this is how it is built okay so energy consumed will be 0 0.01 instead of 10 watts we need to convert it to kilowatts which is 0 0.01 by dividing by 1000 times it by the the time that is 10 hours and that gives us 0 0.1 kilowatts now repeat the same procedure for the incandescent lamp we have 0 0.06 instead of 60 watts 0 0.06 kilowatts times 10 that gives us 0 0.6 kilowatts hour okay now the second question wants us to find out how much we received for using this the led instead of the incandescent lamp okay now remember that earlier i said the electric bill is usually the energy consumed times the cost so the cost for 10 hours will be for led will be 0 0.1 what we have here times 10 that is one naira and the cost for using incandescent lamp for 10 hours will be 0 0.6 times 10 which is 6 naira okay so the amount saved will be 6 minus 1 and that is 5 naira now guys um i want you to leave a comment okay is there anything you want me to adjust is there anything i'm not doing fine am i too fast or slow please leave a comment okay don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then please click on the thumb up button if you love the video thank you